Welcome back to CBS Mornings. We have more now on the investigation into the subway shooting here in New York City that injured at least 23 people. Witnesses say a man wearing a gas mask and construction vest opened fire at commuters after throwing a smoke grenade inside a subway car during the morning rush hour. He was on the train as well. Ten of the injured people were shot. The suspect is still on the run at this hour, though police have named a person of interest they are looking for in connection with the investigation. No pictures so far, as cameras at the station where the shooting happened were not working at the time. Joining us is Jano Lieber, chairman and CEO of the MTA, which runs New York City's subway systems. Jano, good morning. Thank you for being here. Uh, tough morning after for New Yorkers today. Uh, a lot of people probably thinking twice before their regular commute. One of the big questions to come out of this is, why don't we have a picture of this gunman? Why weren't the cameras working? Well, actually, they do have photos, and the material that the NYPD has circulated has a variety of different images of him. So all night long, we have 600 cameras on this one line mm -hmm. in Brooklyn, um, 2,500 cameras, the length of the line. So the cops have been looking overnight at all of the stations, where he got on, where he might have gotten off. There's an enormous range of video. It's one of the things we've done to make the system safer. We went from 30 percent camera coverage uh, of our 472 stations to 100 percent camera coverage. So we got a lot of video for the cops to look at, and they're working. But, but how do you explain that on this particular train, the cameras do not appear to be working? Was that just a fluke? Yeah, I think? Think that, I think that in the one location by the turnstile, there, there was apparently a server problem, which they had been working on the day before. But the bigger issue is there is so much video evidence from all of the stations on this line that there, there are images of this fellow that are going to be found. We heard that the mayor said that they're now going to double the number of police on patrol. But... Would that have prevented this from happening, Jano? Don't you actually need officers on the train? Good. It's a very good point, Gail. I've been asking for, you know, since the prior uh, mayoral administration, I've been asking for, can we get the cops? There are a lot of cops in the system, but we want them on the trains and on the platforms where New Yorkers feel like vulnerable. Like federal marshals on a plane. Uh, well, you know, exactly. The, the, where people feel we know from surveying our riders, and we survey 100,000 riders every month or so, Cops on platforms, cops on trains. That is what makes people feel safe. The mayor has committed to do that. That transition has already been underway since before this incident. But if you have a random person doing a random thing, it's going to be hard to stop even if you do have police. Uh, which raises the question, did the MTA in any way know who this individual was, have him under monitoring, and have any idea this morning why he chose such a, a far-flung and seemingly random station? I, honestly, Tony, we, we don't have any history with this guy. The NYPD, he has a bunch of priors from what I understand. Uh, so he has some history with law enforcement uh, in general, but we don't have any history with him at the MTA, and there was no reason we would have focused on him in particular. Should uh, New Yorkers feel safe taking the train today? You know, I think they were, like, oh, as that. I said, when I got on the train with the governor, the train was full. New Yorkers really, we're in the um, never bet against New York business. It's the essence of who we are. Bounce back after 9-11. I spent a lot of years rebuilding the World Trade Center. People said you wouldn't, they wouldn't move back to lower Manhattan after 9-11. People said New York was dead after Superstorm Sandy and on and on and on. New Yorkers just keep bouncing back. And the subway is the fabric of New York. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to give up our public space that defines New York, that makes New York possible. That's what the subway is. The heroic MTA workers who powered those people out of the station to safety are also heroes. Good qualities of New York were on evidence yesterday as well. Yeah, sort of New York may be down, but never out. You're never saying. out, She's Gail. Always Not even close. Yeah. I'm also on the bet on New York business. So yeah. thank you very much. Jana Lieber, appreciate Good you being to be here this with morning. You. Good to be with you.